Creating a requisition in SFS. Creating and approving a requisition are the first steps in the basic purchasing lifecycle. Click SFS Applications. Click SFS Financials. Click E-Procurement. Click Create a Requisition. Note that items that are starred are required. The business unit field automatically populates with your agency. To fill in the requester field, click on the magnifying glass again. Select your name or, if you are acting as a proxy, select the person for whom the requisition is being requested. Then click OK. The Create Requisition page is used to create and define requisitions. Click the Requisition Name field. Choose a name that is simple, yet descriptive. This is for your reference only. If it is not filled in, it will default to the Requisition ID. Click the arrow next to Line Defaults to expand this section. Leave Vendor Location, Buyer, Category, and Unit of Measure blank. If all items will be purchased from the same vendor, select the magnifying glass that you see next to the vendor box. Type in vendor information into any field. Select Find. Select the correct vendor ID. Make sure to check if the shipping default is correct by checking the Ship To address. An agency may have multiple addresses in SFS. If it is correct, proceed to the next step. If it is not correct, click the magnifying glass. Type in Ship To Location and click Lookup. Select the correct location. If known, fill in the attention field. Once you have entered this information, you can see under the Accounting Defaults box that Chart Fields 1, the location, GL unit, and department have self-populated. Fill in the Program, Fund, Budget Reference, and other fields as required. If you are unsure of your coding, contact your Budget Office. Click Continue. Note that Budget Reference must be filled in or the requisition will kick out. Budget Offices sometimes do not include the year in their coding stream. Now that you have completed the first step, defining the requisition, you will add items and services on the requisition. To add an item, click Special Item. Fill in the item description. The item description field is used to enter a complete description of the item, including MFG item number, item details such as color, style, region number, and hourly rate. Fill in the price and quantity fields. If this is a blanket requisition, the price and quantity need to be reversed. Fill in the category number. If you do not know the number, you can click the magnifying glass to search for it. Type in a description of the item and click Find. Click on the description head to sort the items alphabetically. Select the correct item. Note that vendor ID came over from the default page. Requisitions must include a vendor. If the vendor needs to change, the BSC will contact you for approval first. Fill in unit of measure. Click the magnifying glass. If you do not know the unit of measure, use EA. Select the correct unit. Note that the BSC cannot change this selection. If you need advice, please call the BSC at 457 Four two seven two, option one, option one. Leave due date blank. If an item is needed by a certain date, add this to additional information. 
in additional information add contract number, quote number, B1184 number, PTP number, buy desk, discount rate for paying early, and due date. Click add item. You can continue to add items in the same manner until all items have been added. The requisition summary will then give you a summary of the requisition as it is completed. Now that you have added all your items, you have reached the final step to review and submit your requisition. Click Review and Submit. The Review and Submit page contains a summary of the requisition. This page is used to review the added items and make any necessary changes. Click the Expand arrow to review all details. If you wish to make the same change to all of the lines, click the Select All, Deselect All option, and then click Modify Line, Shipping, Accounting. A blank form appears. Enter information that will be used for all lines on the requisition. Click Apply. Select the option based on your goal. Click OK. This section is used to view and modify individual requisition line and distribution details. The individual requisition and distribution details now display. All fields are available to review and or edit if necessary. Click the arrow to collapse a section when complete if you wish. The Comments button is used to add line level comments. If the Comments button has dots in it, comments have already been entered for this line item. Click the Comments button. Line comments can be printed on a purchase order to be sent to the vendor or displayed during the receiving or invoicing process. Make sure comments are relevant as the vendor will see them. Note that you can add attachments, such as supporting backup including quotes, for your records by clicking the Add Attachment button. If you are unable to attach, please forward documentation to the BSC at OGS Purchasing Unit at ogs.ny.gov. Click Add Attachment. Browse your computer for the documents you wish to attach. Click Upload if you are attaching a document, or Cancel if you decide not to add an attachment. The file is now attached. Select OK. You can click the Line Details button to display the individual line and distribution details. Here you will see a sample of line details. The requisition summary contains the items, quantity, and total amount. It will give you an overview of the entire requisition. There is also a Justification Comments section. This section is not required by the BSC though some other agencies do require that you fill out this section to justify the purchase. The Save and Preview Approval button is used to save the requisition to be continued later or to add an additional ad hoc approver to the approval chain. See the Adding an Ad Hoc Approver video. The Cancel Requisition button is used to cancel the requisition if you decide to no longer proceed with this requisition. When you are ready to submit the requisition, click the Save and Submit button. This will place the requisition into the workflow. The confirmation page displays basic information about the requisition and the number of items it contains. The confirmation page appears upon submitting for processing or saving the requisition for future use. Note the requisition ID has been assigned automatically by SFS. This number will be used for checking the status of the requisition. You have successfully completed creating a requisition the purchase requisition is now in the approval process and has been forwarded to your immediate supervisor.